In the below given electrical network, find the value of current Ix and when you look at the given network, you will find current Ix is the current through this 3 ohm resistor and in this network across these two terminals, the voltage is 12 volts and to calculate current Ix, we will first simplify our network and we will simplify it by finding out the equipotential points and for that let's say this terminal is terminal A and this terminal is terminal B this is terminal A and therefore this node will be node A this node will be node A as well this terminal is terminal B therefore this node will be node B and this node here will be node B as well. Now we will reconstruct our network. Let's say this is terminal A and this is terminal B. And when you look at the original network, you will find between A and B, we have 3 ohm resistor. So we will connect one 3 ohm resistor between A and B. We are done with this resistor. Then between A and B, we again have 3 ohm resistor. So we will connect our next 3 ohm resistor in parallel with this 3 ohm resistor. Then between A and B, we again have 3 ohm resistor. So the third 3 ohm resistor will go in parallel with these 3 ohm resistors. So this is our new simplified network and when you look at current Ix, you will find it is from A to B terminal. Therefore from A to B terminal, we will have our current Ix, but this is not correct. When you focus on resistor through which Ix is flowing, you will find it is leaving the node B and it is passing through 3 ohm resistor and then entering to node A. Therefore, Ix will leave the terminal B. It will flow through 3 ohm resistor and then it will enter terminal A. So always mark down the direction of current carefully after reconstructing the network. Now from here we can calculate current Ix easily because we know across A and B, we have 12 volts potential difference. So across A and B, we have 12 volts as the potential difference. And if at B terminal, potential is zero volt, then at A terminal, the potential will be 12 volts. This means at this point, the potential is 12 volts. And at this point, the potential is 0 volt and now we will apply KVL in this branch we will start from this point and we will end at this point so we have 0 then we have minus 3 times Ix minus 3 times Ix and then we will equate with 12 from here we are getting current Ix equal to minus 12 divided by 3 amperes or we can say Ix is equal to minus 4 amperes. So this is our answer. So I hope the solution of this problem was clear to you and now we will move on to our homework problem and in this homework problem you need to find the value of R in the circuit when the current source is delivering the power equal to 800 milliwatts to the resistors. Here is the current source providing 30 milliamperes of current and when it is delivering 800 milliwatts power to the resistors, you need to find out the value of R. So once you have your answer, post it in comment section. Now I will end this lecture here, see you in the next one.